848. I'm just about set up. And I got action already. Look at this. I got this little, looks like a brand new little hinkle of some sort. Pretty cool little knife. I don't know what it is. It doesn't say what model it is, but it's nice. I like it. Then I got this big chef's knife, which I did last year. And this is a new knife he just bought. It's uh, it's got some wear on it. He's used it some. And then here he's got a serrated knife. As you can see, it's got one of my sheaths on it. I did it last year. It's just got a few burrs on the back side. I'm going to sharpen that up. And then here, he's got a whole set of Tinkle steak knives. There's eight of them. But they got the little serrated thing right on the tip. You see it? I'm just going to clean the back of those up a little bit. Stand by. Well, that's a nice way to start the morning off. Eleven knives. No, twelve knives. Eight steaks. That says eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, a dozen. A dozen blades. Mmm, I like it. My hunter friend just brought me this knife. You know the guy brings me all the hunting knives that four from last week? Nice case. I can't say who made it. Check this knife out though, you're gonna like it. It's made from a file. It's not too dull, it's just rough. You don't particularly like it. He just wants to get it sharp. Sure. I'm going to try to do this thing on the fly. This carbon fiber file knife got really sharp. I knew it would. It's bad. I had to put it in a case, keep from, I mean some tape on it, keep from cutting the case open. I might be exaggerating a little to you though, but not much. Next customer brings me an 8 inch Wustoff chef's knife and a little Santuco hammer and stale cutlery, high carbon German steel. Pretty nice old knife, I've never seen one of these. That's own little box. Pretty cool. Stand by. My uh, takeoff on the um, Patriot Saint of Knives. So far, I like it. I put them in the butcher paper. I put some uh, flower, I mean, design tape on them and a sticker. A lot cheaper than those sheets. This is all eight steak knives right here. I did tape up the blades with tape. I tried a. Uh, I tried some saran wrap, I mean box wrap and stuff, on my couple experimental knives yesterday when I was experiment with it. It was okay, but I found if I use painter's tape, for me it works better. So everything in there is wrapped with painter's tape, but then the paper. Stand by. Yeah. 
It's a little slow today in the market. I'm doing okay, but the market's a little slow. Kind of overcast. My buddy, the guru, and Denny, they're headed to the land of Nada. The north of end of Nada. Too rough for the bay. They can't work in the bay today. Breeze blowing. Next customer just brought me an old Wolfstock Classic, Santuco. He's been sharpening something. He's down to the scallops now. Stand by. I'm trying to get this all week, but I never could get up with a lady. She called me. She was here last Saturday. An old 18-inch paper cutter. I've done a lot of paper cutters. Not a lot, but several. Something to do this week. Pick it up next week. I just got two more. I got a cut coat. Long serrated knife. I think this is a heckle. No, what's that? She's in bad shape. Stand by. Well, I got the paper cutter blade out. She's in bad shape. Just a little rusty, I mean. That'll clean right up. Put that on the buffer and the wheel. And it'll look like brand new when it gets through. Okay. Homework. Still breezy. I don't know if you can see it or not, but look at that bush right there. Cooking. Trees are cooking. No bay work. Look at them damn things shaking right there. God. I hate it. Land of nada, I guess.